meeting to order at six o'clock. First on the agenda, are there any changes or additions? Dan? Yes, could you um, re um, add, uh, review, and approve um, application for lack of flow use? For lack of flow use? Yes, please. Any else? That's it. Very good. Next on the agenda, approve the minutes of August 12th, 2019. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Motion is carried. Next, community concerns. So, Ron, we have the Morristown Conservation Commission. He avoids you, Ron. He avoids you. He just. Well. Thank you. 
States. And uh, I've written in the notes that our comments uh, provide. Uh, one, the speakers will have uh, village zoning for the time of the states, and any further reading the uh, insults will be as well as censuses. However, the other individual that was there spoke, spoke against it. And, and I think this, this is a thing that may happen in the future. Is, uh, Developments that have already occurred will be attempts to modify what has been approved by the previous um, development whether the development review board or So I guess this is this is one of the important is to reconsider the waiver. I hear your concern. Could you be like a little more specific with us some specific information of how you see it impacting uh, the town? Well, if you haven't been on development review for the planning commission, then you know, you're lacking the visualization of what can happen. The town. Uh, well, yeah, specific saying might apply to the right of way. Whereas uh, we might have a requirement that uh, for one house might be uh, 20 foot right of way, but there's only 15 feet for that building. Then or 25 percent. I mean, 15 or 25 percent. Might be Favoring spread of the structures to prevent uh, fire, you know, close proximity is fire going from one house to another, which can happen really close. You know, the main street or on Horse Street, where everybody's close. Change the covenant to help the city with the uh, regulations uh, to them. Is it your concern that we're going to start looking like Williston? Are you concerned that we're going to start looking like Williston does from 89? Yeah, it's increasing the impact. So, Thank you for bringing that forward. You had the opportunity to, uh, to express those concerns at the Planning Council, I'm assuming. The Planning Council turned it down. But we've asked, to, it's been yeah. sent back to the Planning Council, yeah. correct? Yeah. So um, I appreciate well, you coming in. Right. Understood. 
Anything? Showed this to the planning council, and if anyone can recognize it, it comes from having horses. And in the history of Portland, everybody who was up there in the farm in the beginning had black animals. So it was unusual to uncover this. Good. Thank you for coming in, Ron. Yep. And there'll be opportunities for more feedback. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Were you able to go? That run. Any other community concerns? None. Look at control. None. New business. Person uh, under new business approved and signed notice of lien for Michael Pivedo. I apologize if I'm butchering the name. Good. All right. Michael, you can join us if you'd like. In the past, you know, the, you know, 
highway crew, highway foreman has tried to work with people on road cuts. And at a time, we, we point out and we've gotten uh, calls for people putting in road cuts or curb cuts mm -hmm. if we can get them cheaper. You know, you know people have never had a problem, but in this particular case, we tried to get a bill in this potato to, to pay for the call for. Well, I have uh, um, my two neighbors down the road had culverts put in for nothing, and they had the town do it for nothing. Okay. And there, there was an existing culvert there. This is a this is a new curb cut, as far as I. But uh, there was an existing culvert there. This is a new curb cut <laughs> for access to the property. Todd, please correct me if I get this. Was a new curb cut that we approved. It's a new curb cut. So this okay. was a new curb cut. The other one I know there was one resident up there that, that contacted the select board over the course of the, um, the summer. I think the other one was replaced with maintenance. So um, once again, I, I kind of revised what we do. We've always tried to work with residents to save them a little bit of money, but you know, I just you know, I don't think we can afford to do that. But this was a curb cut, and once again, we've always tried to work with people to save them, even if it's fifty bucks, because we can't get all as much cheaper. But this was a, a new curb cut you know, that was approved. Um, I, as far as I know, Roland worked with you and told you right. that, that you were going to be charged for the caller. Right. Um, and but on the other hand, you know, we did two neighbors down the road from me. No charge, no nothing. And from what I understand is those were existing culverts. Yes. Yeah, yeah but there was an existing culvert where, right where I put the new one. They just buried it over and forgot about it. So that's my issue with I had to pay six hundred dollars to cut trees that weren't on my property and all this other dirt. <laughs> and then I gotta come through. I spent fifteen hundred dollars to have somebody come put the culvert in for me. And then on top of that, I gotta pay for the culvert. So welcome I to just, the culvert. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I'll pay for it. I just, you know, I'm just a little upset. You know, I just think it's a little unfair. Well, that. I have a little liaison with the department. I'll tell you that okay. apples to oranges. Yep. You have an existing culvert. Right. I don't know where you find this existing culvert. Oh, I have pictures and everything. We dug it right up and it was right there where you where wanted me to put was it. A, was it a workman culvert or was it No, it was, it was there. It was rusted. So they we, must have buried it, and, you know. No one lives there. Buried up, you know. We're not in the habit of burying. Well, culverts. I'm just saying. I don't know how long that thing's been buried. It's been there for a while. It wasn't one invisible and it's not an existing yeah. working culvert, then it's not a culvert that would be replaced. In my opinion, uh, one more than So, how does this come about? Does, does he sign a paper telling what they've done? Or? Well, no, and once again, we, you know, know, the typically way. speaking, we've never had a problem. People right. are appreciative of the fact that we're trying to save them some money doing it. But um, the road commissioner, former. Right. Oh, talk to him and yep. told you you were going to do it. You right. I didn't realize, like you said, he can't do me any favors, blah, blah, blah. But then on the other hand, he does two neighbors down the road for nothing. You know, so I just think it's a little unfair. <laughs> well, I, I'm thinking if that's the way you felt, then you shouldn't have done it. Right. Well, I didn't realize that right. until after the fact. You know? Yeah. But you agreed at the time right. for him to. Right. Right. I mean, I don't know nothing other than, except the other ones were existing. Right. This one here was a new. Right. New right. But then the other hand, there was a cover buried underneath, you know. No one lived there because it's, you know, it was vacant land. So. I mean, did you, uh, did you, did you go out and check in with that thought, or you just. I think we were at the bottom of this. We did well. Yes. I do have my problem with that at the moment. Yes, you do. I think we're going to Right. And then uh, there was another problem with the staircase there, you know, and Roland told me it was in the right way. So I don't know. I just did the paperwork. Right, right. right. I know. I was called. It's after these guys called. Right. Yeah. So, so. so there is a problem with the staircase that was built right away, and I don't think Roland would do it different than the one Right. Well, it was there. You know, right. it was just buried. Right. It way back when. Right, right. It was supposed to be there. I think he's for cleaning right now. Right. But, you know, I mean, Am I responsible for that or the town? <laughs> I, I think it was put in there without our permission, so. But I didn't put it in there. <laughs> Once you, I think we've been trying to get it for a while. Okay. So um, it, it kind of appears in that property. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I just wanted to say questions. I don't have any questions either. Um, so you're going to put, you're going to pay for the call board. I don't know if you're prepared to do that today, but what the select board is in a position to do this evening is to yeah, put a lien on today. your property. That's okay. I'm sorry? I can pay for it today. <laughs> That's what the look is for. <laughs> is there any uh, saving the paperwork? We can table this. Any issues with that, Dan? Nope. I am okay with that. You need a motion to table that or not? Yes, please. Motion to table the discussion about the Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Thank you for coming in. Yeah, Hearing no further discussion, all those in favor of tabling uh, the lien for Michael to our next regularly scheduled sub board meeting, uh, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion is passed. Our next meeting is next Tuesday. Thank you for coming yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Or can I stop by tomorrow? So, during the town clerk hours, okay. you can speak to someone in the office. Cool. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Thanks. Next, approving uh, right away for application for Darrow Mansfield. Okay. okay. So I can explain that you know, a long time ago before we accepted this road, something figured this yeah. It was supposed to be some of the drainage work that was part of the road, part of the stormwater system, unfortunately was not completed as it should have been. Um, so right now to complete the stormwater system and keep the plant permit and all the other fun stuff that goes with it, there needs to be a call with it from the road. Roland's looked at it, unfortunately not everybody understood the process of doing the work with the right way. So this is really something that needs to be done. It's just part of the permit. Unfortunately it should have been done before the town accepted the road, which forced the need for Permission to put it in. Got it. Yeah, that's the whole subdivision and the whole road. Oh, okay. so it's kind of hard to see, but there's yeah, some, some semblance of reference. But once again, it's really related to the stormwater collection system. So that the culvert wasn't put in at the time of construction like it was supposed to. So the culvert, the installation of the culvert more than it uh, impacts the wall. That's it. Is there anything you want to add? Make a motion to approve the now right away. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Nice habit. The motion is carried. Thanks for coming in. Next, a uh, pavement cut for Fred's PH Lower Bridge Street. Yeah, this is one that I've been working on for. Uh, since June, probably there, and they really want to. They're, they're building a new truck washing facility. I believe that correct? It's like a full story wash basin. Right, um, and All they need them. they need to connect into the manhole that's out in Bridge Street with the, the new sewer line for that. And I'm hoping to get it done before they pay. The one thing I don't have, and I've asked, it's like board condition. I don't have an estimate because I just got this in a street form and it's on vacation right now. Is an estimate how much it's going to cost us for the asphalt hatch. They know that we're going to charge them something for the asphalt. They really would like to do that this week. I would really like for them to do that this week before we're saying so. We're saying it won't be done October 1 the 31st. Yeah, they put that in there, but you know, that was before I got them. I talked to them again. Okay. I've been trying to get them to get this done all summer long. Um, Kenny Grimes is the contractor on it. He wants to get it done. He doesn't want to, to be the person that cuts it. You know, so I need Kenny, I talked to Kenny, I talked to him a couple of times, both the contractor and Kenny, about getting this done as soon as possible. They really want to get that done this week for us so that we're not cutting anything. Yeah, people folks aren't sick of doing this week. As far as I know, um, and the schedule's been all over the place for paving um, the last couple of weeks because they've had problems with their plant, they've had problems 
the better. Right now, yeah. we're focused on getting the paving done in the downtown. They should be paving tonight, I believe, parts of downtown tomorrow, Wednesday night. So I think the paving crew that they have is the one that's going to be doing that as soon as they're finished. My concern is, is something's not quite ready to pave that they will go to the fourth street or when they'll finish something. So, you know, it's out there, it's under contract. They can show up at any time to do it. So that's the reason why it's, you know, I really want to get this done as soon as possible. I don't think it's going to be a problem this week. I can't say that for next week. The village crew is already on standby. Once it's done, we're going to patch it right away so that we're ahead of it. I'm going to make a motion to approve this as long as that final finish going to pay the thing. Okay. If that's been put down, they're going to put the fuck to make that pay. That's ridiculous. Okay. We've been working on it since June. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, I'm digging into one layer of pavement, and then uh, Kenny's going to do a great job of packing it. They, they drag their feet, and that second layer of pavement goes down there. Let's talk to pay it. Yeah, I'll do my best. But, yeah, I know, uh, I know. I mean, you know, they they could have scheduled the people or not. But exactly, and that's you know that's my fear. I mean, you know, last Friday they just showed up on Pleasant Street because they're filling holes in their schedule. Yes, and I didn't know they were going to be there at all. Nobody knew they showed up, so that's my fear. If something happens with their right. schedule, um, that they're going to go where the work's available to them. So I make a motion that we approve the payment cut. Uh, for the stipulation that it be only to be done. <coughs> Second. I mean, I don't yeah. know how else we're going to get in there, but maybe. Yeah. Please add the, the piece about the paper that you have to pack it. Okay. That they are the only responsible for the reimbursement of the cost of the pack. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? I would agree with you, Eric, on that. No further discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Next, approved loader repairs. This one's close. This is a the Volvo loader at the village garage. It's been a really, really good machine. Um, 2005. The, the tins on the bucket need to be replaced. Typically speaking, I would probably approve something like this myself, but this is close, so I want kind of a second opinion. This loader is currently scheduled to be replaced tentatively, our capital budget is always tentatively. 21, 22, you know, something like that? Yes, 21. Um, and this could easily, if it needs to be lined or run over, be $8,000 and go beyond that $10,000. Um, there's nothing wrong with the machine. You know, we've been doing maintenance on it. It's been a very, very good machine for us. You know, but it's also kind of close to that end of a life cycle here that we're going to be looking at replacing it sometime down the road. I don't know that this will extend the life of it beyond that 2021, 20, but it's definitely something that needs to be fixed on it. So I thought I'd bring this in when you guys weigh on it. So it is not much fun from our experience running a bucket loader with that much slop in the tank emissions. Right. Stuff all over the place, you're probably smacking the side of the truck and there isn't rocks kicking it out of the floor and everything down there. So I have no issue with that at all. Maybe the machine's 14 years old. 14 and it's been a great first machine. Time we've had to do this? Um, you know, we, we took the cab off of it, we painted it. It's the first time we got to do any tin work like that. I don't think, I don't think we've had anything else like that on it. Yeah, so it's, it's been a good machine, you know. So we definitely got our money's worth out of it. And then they're using the waste loader supposed to reduce that machine. Yeah. yeah. Last 14 years. This one does a lot of work in the winter, of course. You know, so this is the one that does all of our pushing it for. You know, so it's not just it works year round. Realistically, I mean, in the winter it's clean the parking lots. It's got the, you know, the, the snow push on it, so it does a lot of work for us. And you know, um, it, it gets worked hard, but it's been a good machine. But once again, it was right on that kind of fine line, and I don't want to, you know, deceive anybody because it could easily go over that ten thousand dollar mark if we have to. to to bore the pens out, you know, to, to get them lined up. So what's the minimum cost? Uh, we're probably in the hundred twenty thousand dollar, hundred thirty thousand dollar price range. And I think that's what we paid. We paid one hundred and fifteen. Yeah, we paid one hundred and fifteen for the We thought that was one hundred thirty. I think I think we might have got some trade in money, something like that. But this one, traded wise, I mean, you know, I don't think we're going to get fifteen, fourteen years old. So. 
now. <laughs> but once again, yeah, it was close. So I figured, you know, if anybody's got concerns, I'd rather hear them now than then in that. Why? Do you need this? Do I don't. Need this as long as the board has no concerns, I don't have a problem. And I just need you to be aware. Okay. It could easily go over the ten thousand dollar mark. You know, once we get it in there. Um, but it, you know, it'll be close. It's, it's right there on that borderline. That's the reason why I brought it up. Do you want a motion then? Yeah, if, if, if you could, in case it goes over, in case it goes over, authorize me to go over. I make the motion that we authorize the expenditure of uh, you want the dollar amount that's listed here, or you want a, a ten thousand dollar figure, or you want to go. I would say, why don't you give me, you know, reasonably, let's say eleven. If it gets any more than eleven, then I'll come back with it. And I think that's reasonable. Because if they approve the repair to the Volvo loader, not to exceed eleven thousand dollars. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried. Next, review and approve lease for live scan. Yes. Any other agencies? So, on If you're leasing it, do, do you own it after a certain time period or? Yeah, at least all after five years or what's up Any other agencies use it here? Do any other agencies come into the state police use it occasionally? They have their own post bulletin, still have their own insurance cards on board, and also, too, we know it's a good training program, and we use that training program for employment. So, we will spend funds to support our. Great. Make a motion to approve it. Five years from option. Yes. Second. Option two, right? I have a motion and a second to approve the lease of the live scan on the five year schedule. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried. Thanks, Chief. <coughs> Next, approve fiscal year 1920 tax rate. Or 
course, the tax rate set based upon the municipal tax rates, um, set based upon the budget that was approved by the voters without meeting, you know, for the amount of money that we need to raise to do it. So you that all the calculations and work was there to make sure it was correct. The educational tax rate, of course, is um, set by the state on both those things. So that you're really accepting those that you really don't have any control over uh, as far as what the educational tax rate would be. Overall, municipal tax rate is up less than 3% this year, which is about in line with Is happy with their tax assessment for sure. So far, because they haven't got their bill yet. <laughs> <laughs> what, how much is a tax, tax going up for most people? Do you know that? Um, so on a $100,000 house, it would be $30 on the educate, on the town side. Is that right? I don't know. I figured out I mean, the, the education tax rate is 5% for, for a homestead. So that's where the you know, majority of it is. Um, so okay. Yes, that's really right. Yes, separate ones, Yes, separate ones, please. I move to accept the municipal tax rate at 0 0.9063 cents. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the new municipal tax rate, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's carried. I move to accept the residential education tax rate $1.0. Four four seven nine cents. Second. I have a motion and a second for the new education rate. Sorry, I was trying to fire them. Any further discussion? I'm ready to go. Uh, hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. I move to accept the non-residential education tax rate. One dollar point five eight six four cents. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried. Thank you. All right, next, approve fireworks permit for Bishop Marshall. Um, this is something, this is for the homecoming that they apply for for every year. I think the only requirements that they've had in the past is uh, local, uh, notify the local farmer um, of, the, of the dates and time that they're going to do it. We haven't had any issues. The sheep don't like well dogs. The dogs. The dog does it. Oh, is the dog not the sheep? Yeah. Got a sheep train with a dog too. I remember. What's the sheep in the dog? Well, the farmer doesn't. Make a motion to approve their uh, application. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the federal permit for Bishop Marshall. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion is carried. Good. Uh, next on the agenda is review Oxbow uh, field use application. This is an event that has been held in the past as well. Um, they have paid the fee, uh, they have their liability insurance, in, and they have their deposit. So, and once again, we have had a problem with them. It's something that they've done before. Insurance for the they've got all the paperwork is there, but they've got everything in. Okay. Yeah, I got their application in March, but I just really got the deposit and insurance and stuff. <laughs> I 
make a motion we accept the uh, Oxbow Park Field application for um, painting the Samantha Bush Memorial Fund. Second. I have a motion and a second. I just want to um, clarify something. This is for the 14th. Yeah, if the seven plus is available. Okay. If seven plus, sorry, it's a little hard to read on the photocopy. All right, that's okay. <laughs> Thanks. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the OXO use permit? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Any old business? Let's approve warrants. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the warrants. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. TA report. A few things. Um, meeting schedules to make sure everybody put me in a and I'm getting <laughs> ton. So the next meeting is actually September, Tuesday, September 3rd, 6 p.m. Um, kind of an off cycle. So far, and there's things that I know, and I feel like I'm forgetting something to put on this agenda. Um, we have uh, the roads acceptance. There's five roads that we'll be looking at. We have the final decision on those roads. Um, I have rejoining uh, the Moore County Planning Commission on that agenda. And there's an executive session scheduled for that agenda. Is there anything I'm missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Like the taxes, thank you. Is the executive session in regards to? Yes. Then. I just felt like I was forgetting something on it. I figured, wow, we're, we're all in the same room. And... I don't think so. Okay. If you think of anything that I missed, because that'll be the one time for the next month and a half that I have all five of you together. So, you know, that's, so if there's anything that we need, you know, that. All right, we said that the full board needs to be present for, or you feel like the full board should be present for, let me know so I can put it on the September 3rd agenda. Is that again here? Yes. Yeah, I gotta get another application. Okay. If they don't, they don't have this. <laughs> got it with you now? Huh? Got it with you now? No, I lost it. I'll sign it. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get to sign it and then it's my board and then okay. get back. I uh, they sent me a copy in January and I got one in March. They haven't fired me. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're user friendly. <laughs> yeah. But at least it's starting to get on the top a little bit from the state, so I gotta get it. Okay. But, Okay, well, if anybody happens to think anything, let me know. We'll put on the agenda. Those are things. Um, the other thing that we, I really need to schedule is um, we promised uh, that we'd go up and look at the intersection of Trombley Hill Center Road up there to, to try to figure out layout. Um, obviously, I don't think it's going to work where I have all of you together, but um, I would like to pick a date and time tonight to set something up for that so that we can get that one kind of crossed off the list to do. How much time do you have to? We can warn it at a special meeting. So, I mean, um, I, I'm pretty available until. Are we meeting on, we're not meeting on the 9th No, we're not meeting on the we'll, we'll meet again on the 16th. So, this, yeah. This paper we just got to move, right? Budget. That's just a budget. But it's got the night and the county. <clears throat> that's not yeah, that's what I've got to answer. That's, 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 for, not, uh, that's, that's not That's not our That's really early. Yeah. Because it says schedule. <laughs> yeah, that's, okay. that's an internal schedule for us. Scared me. So, so I, I can do the ninth, and I have to say, I, I know we changed everything because of me. Um, the very first meeting of the hospital board. The first one is changed. 
It's actually on the 16th, so I am available on the 9th. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be fun. <laughs> That's so, so we, we could, could do a special on that night if other people are available. If you want to knock it out sooner or later, the fourth, the day after our next meeting. I'm actually going to be out that week, so I was trying to get some Come on. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> we went to this last meeting. Go the night. Just trying to slowly getting it done quicker. The ninth. The ninth. All right, we'll schedule for ninths. We can do earlier. It's a special meeting, so if it's any, you know, it'd be earlier, six o'clock, what everybody wants to stick with. When you're earlier, that works. The earliest I can do is 5 30. That one. Yeah. 5 30, probably up. Yeah. We'll meet on side. Right. Okay, perfect. I'd like to introduce everybody to uh, Kevin Barrows, uh, our new highway foreman. Hello. Welcome. Been drinking out, he's been kind of drinking out the end of the fire hose for the last two weeks, but you know, um, and we're going to continue that. So he's learned a lot, and, but we're confident that he's going to be able to get everything done for us. So, um, next, just so everybody knows, the trustees, I believe, I don't think the schedule's changed for scheduled to meet on September 4th to approve the sewer ordinances. We're changing, did that change? I they're supposed to approve it on the 8th. The 8th? 18th. 18th. That's not I believe, good. I believe they're taking comments and discussion on the comments, and then they're going to vote on it. But it could change the same Last email I have was September 4th. Okay. Todd, have you heard anything different? I think so. Okay. So I. I will confirm for you so that if anybody wants to attend, because it's different than what I've been giving you emails on. So, but I asked to be on the fourth because the village backed it and not to. Okay, um, Todd has, has drafted some comments on behalf of the town relative to their um, collecting all their allocation fees up front. And uh, you know, I think everybody agrees that that would have a pretty negative impact on any businesses trying to start here. The fact that you know, somebody can walk in the door and literally not have finance to a project, but have to pay you know a lot of money up front um, before they really even started a permitting process on it. So typically speaking, if they're in that kind of process, they may not have bank financing until they're further along in their permitting process. Um, I know that the capital recovery fees are, are still um, out there for discussion. Um, I think they impact what I call the high street users, the, the brewers, um, and uh, potentially but not, not farms. I think the good news from everything that I've heard since February, um, the BOD at the sewer treatment plant has dropped by 50%. <laughs> yeah, um, so you know, so it's out there, it's been well below, um, it actually kind of matches their flow capacity flows now. Are flows are normal, their BOD um, has dropped from the 1,050 pounds a day to actually below um, 500 pounds a day in some instances. Um, I know that they tested rock art um, for every day for 30 days, and what I know. It mapped exactly you know, as everything had been reported. So, but the, the BOD, you know, that the plant is way down since the February time frame. Um, and I haven't heard of anything, you know, on any just, you know, what's going on with that. I know they're still going out and done some testing on it. So, um, but I, you know, I think um, from my perspective, just sewer treatment plant is a, is a very, very important piece of economic development for the community. Maybe if you take something like we've got 50 houses that you know an option is building and roughly that's twenty hundred dollars per house. So you're looking at a check somewhere in the hundred and forty thousand dollar price tag before you even start construction on something like that. Um, I think Todd one example that Todd and I used um, he used really in his write-up was 
Lost Nation probably would not be here um, if they had to pay their allocation fees up front like that. Um, just because they wouldn't be able to afford it. Um, and they've had a pretty significant economic development impact on the town for the amount of people that were bringing in. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so you know, and, and you know, a lot of these businesses are here now. They've developed, and you know, the capital recovery is, is a very, very complicated process on how they're doing that. So, um, but literally, they're you know, it, it's it's been a long discussion. You know, we've been involved in it from the get go, but they are moving forward with their ordinance. So, I think it's it's important that everybody understands that, that they're doing it. and they're still looking to implement those fees. We continually try to make our points on, on the potential negative impact that it could have on the business and the community. So. And where are we? And we were discussing about the, the select board taking over those responsibilities. I don't think, I, I don't think that they. There's been no more mention of that the change of hands. Yeah. Uh, the, the discussions were one of the best mm -hmm. the possibility. Discuss it. Communication has not always flowed smoothly. We put it that way. Uh, and we found out in one of the things we've been copied in the email streams. So it's a question we can pose again or, or ask about again. But now that you've been given that specific. But it seemed to be pretty desperate. Well, that's not, that, that's you're, you're that's right. right. You're right. Absolutely. The, the, the tone of the discussion was desperate because they had maxed their capacity for the other flow and in fact turned down the permit application for a brewery in our downtown as a result. And we're here less than a year later. And, and I, I probably you all got something in your electric bill. Felt like this felt scary when I read that about the BOD and about the, the they were at capacity and I, <coughs> oh, gee, I thought we had already resolved this. Some information out there didn't jive with what I understood. Absolutely right. Yeah. Perception is very bad. Thank you. No, we didn't. Just also left. So they have on their website that they're taking written comments through August 30th of the information meeting on September 4th and the adoption of the ordinance is dated on the 18th. Eighteenth of the adoption. Is it possible if you can get a copy of those? The the ordinance seat, the no the position of the town? It's going to the trustees. Yeah, I can copy of that. That's not a problem. Great. Is this going to, is the meeting at uh, Water and Light? <coughs> is there a problem if all five of us show up at that meeting? We should warn it. We should definitely warn it because you will be conducting the business of the town. It's not. I will not be in attendance. <laughs> Um, we're just going to warn it as if you would be a quorum now. What time is that, sir? It's just a regular meeting. It, the, the proposed ordinance is on my website. My comments are limited to the charge and rent not the yeah, and I think you know, Eric, are you going to be there for that one? The fourth? Yes. Yes. Um, I, yeah, I think you're well versed on the capital recovery piece of it. So I think I think you've got everything that I've got already. I can check again, but I think you've got everything I've got on that capital recovery piece. So we, I mean, we've heard both. We've heard that they can withdraw that, and now. As far as I know, it's been reported. At least it's still up for discussion. You know, okay. you know it's you know, so. I like to discuss. Did you all stand?
Uh, yes. <laughs> um, Beverage review timeline. Um, that's your timeline. So it's kind of a tentative select board schedule and now as well. Uh, be budget done this year. So yes, unfortunately, it is that time of year again. Um, you know, a lot of it's internal work for us. It's, it's a schedule that we've worked through, so you can see what we've got planned for you guys as well. Um, then we're going to uh, be meeting with the board to review with you guys as well as the department. So, so no vacations in that time period. Huh? So there's only one meeting that's uh, that's on and like the director will be scheduled. Really? Okay, I know. She's being nice to you. <laughs> I tried to talk her out of it. But it's... <laughs> um, nope, that's it for me. That's all. Thank you. Thanks. Any questions for Dan? Select board concerns. Hang on, I'm just very proud of this community and really enjoyed working with the people here. In this uh, office, these offices, and it's just a delight to work here. Okay. Can you, uh, nothing other than I think it's really stand to look really nice around here. Yeah, the black top and the new light. They're going to be a brand new light right at the intersection for the road. Mm -hmm. This one right here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the four way. The four way, yeah, yeah. the new light up. It's looking really great. This is a writer of motorcycle. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Good. And for me, just a uh, thanks to the Morsel Police Department who responded very quickly to a call I made at the end of my driveway a couple weekends ago. And they responded very quickly. So I appreciate that. And everyone was very nice and courteous. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, and that's it. That's all I have. Other business. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Other business. <laughs> Once upon a time, I move to find that the mayor executive session discusses violations of public utility under the provision of Title One, Section Two Thirteen B A Three of the Law Statutes, include and limits. I have a motion and a second. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried. Entering executive session. Motion in a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of adjourning say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries meaning adjourned.